That had no relevance to today's topic. Sue me. Speaking of suing, Mark Zuckerberg, who was recently surpassed in wealth by a Chris Larson, a founder of Ripple, who's now worth a cool $55 billion. Anyway, Mark Zuckerberg has announced cryptocurrency integration with Facebook, or at least that he's considering it. I'll leave a link to this below, but the important bit that we're interested in is here. There are important counter trends to this, like encryption and cryptocurrency that take power from centralized systems and put it back into people's hands. I thought it was really funny that this kind of wording was coming out of a person like Mark, but anyway. I'm interested to go deeper and study the positives and negative aspects of these technologies and how to best use them in our services. So maybe they will, maybe they won't, but he's looking into it. Pretty big deal. So then would he integrate Bitcoin? Unlikely. And not just for the fact that it's slow and expensive to use, but the Winklevoss twins, these two fine specimens, are two guys that sued Mark in 2012, I believe it was, for stealing the idea of Facebook from them. Now, they took the payoff money and they put it into Bitcoin back then. So now they're worth a cool $1.3 billion. So maybe Mark doesn't want to support their uh, retirement. In which case, would he use something already established, something like Ethereum? basic attention token seems to work? Or would he launch an ICO? It would be called F token for Facebook. And what would it be for? Would it be rewarding creators? Just a method of tipping, transacting. However, if he did an ICO, boy, oh boy, <laughs> that would be nuts. Directly, we are having Ripple come down and Bitcoin go up. Not too much of a coincidence going from one into the other, pretty much. Bitcoin almost testing 17K again. It does come off the back of the news of the Coinbase say CEO saying they have no plans to add another coin right now. They said the same thing before they listed Bitcoin Cash. So take it or leave it. That's what they've said. Ripple is still just as likely to be listed as it was before. But yes, it's all unconfirmed at this stage. I don't necessarily think this was the sole reason for a Ripple pullback. It was probably due for one and Bitcoin was probably due for some traction as well. And in the same day that a lot of the coins that have pumped considerably lately are having a bit of pullback, like Cardano and like Stellar, Tron still has some decent gains. It's the day of Ray Blocks today. They have had a very busy 24 hours. First of all, Rayblox won the community vote and is getting listed on Binance. The exact date is as yet unconfirmed. This man down here is quite happy at the news. I think that's a man. But also it has been listed on KuCoin exchange, as we can see here. What else? BitZ, another exchange. And if that wasn't enough, we have the, a message from the CEO of the Nano S, the Legend Nano S hardware wallet saying, that they, they will do away with the costs involved to get Rayblox added to their platform, essentially opening the door saying, as soon as you guys are ready, we will integrate you, which is pretty nice. Don't think every coin gets that treatment at all. Dogecoin, it's the day of Doge. The self-confessed meme coin now has a market cap of $1.2 billion. Is this a sign of the times? Is this a worrying sign? I'll leave that to you to decide. Still cheap and fast transactions. The developers behind it have this to say. I have a lot of faith in Dogecoin core development team to keep the software stable and secure. But I think it says a lot about the state of cryptocurrency space in general. That a currency with a dog on it, which hasn't released a software update in over two years, has a $1 billion market cap. Sorry, I'm not sure why I went into an accident. Finally, I just want to discuss the difference between trading and investing. If you're a trader, you basically don't need to care and have no, shall we say, familial relationship with a cryptocurrency. You don't have time for that. Yes, your investment might go up 10 times from here, but what if another coin can do it faster? This is the general mentality of a trader. An investor, someone quite the opposite, quite happy to get emotionally attached with a coin and stay there, willing to ride the dips and get up. So what type of trader should you be? It depends on your strengths. You need to play to your strengths. Don't worry about doing a bit of both or primarily one, primarily the other. Actually, no, Pri be afraid. No, be afraid, be very afraid. 
do worry if you are entirely a day trader. There's a reason that the saying is 90% of day traders lose money. But yeah, it's pretty hard to go wrong in this market. I will admit that.